Um, each day for four days, Linda traveled for one hour at a speed that resulted in her traveling one mile in an integer number of minutes. Interesting, an integer number of minutes. One, okay, one hour each day for four days. So, okay, so one hour integer. It's hard to process, right? So just take your time on these. How can you afford to take time here? Because you're super fast in one to 10. You're super fast, like 10 minutes tops, one minute per question. And we'll go back and do that a little bit at the end of this test too, to show you what that looks like. Uh, one hour uh, integer number of minutes, okay? Each day after the first, her speed decreased so that the number of minutes to travel one mile increased by five minutes over the preceding day. So like, let's say she did one mile in one minute. Then what they're saying is that the next time it would be one mile in six minutes. So travel one mile increased by five minutes. That's what it increased by. So this, if it was one, the next day it would be six, the next day 11, the next day 16. Each of the four days her distance traveled was also an integer number of miles. What was the total number of miles for the four trips? I think what they're indicating is that the amount of distance she traveled is not the same each day. It doesn't indicate that. So you should not assume it, okay? Ugh, this is not a fun question. Um, let's think about what we can do here. Linda, one hour speed, one hour. So we might wanna do miles per hour, right? Let's just pick something nice, like 30 miles per hour. And then that would be 30 miles in 60 minutes. What are we doing right now? No idea. Get comfortable having no clue what you're doing. I just not like secret formula for this problem. You are up against it. There's no knowledge coming in that you could use on this problem immediately. You've got to fumble around in the darkness, completely clueless, and not give up and find the answer. And the students who cannot do that never qualify for Amy. You have to be comfortable in that spot. Don't be like, well, I don't know the formula or I don't know the method. Neither do I. Right now, I haven't done this problem in probably six years, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm just going to do, let's see what happens. Play what if. Be comfortable being uncomfortable. It's not a bad place to be, especially on the AMCs. So if I do 30 miles in 60 minutes, I kind of want to go minutes for one mile. So maybe it would be better if I switch this. Rather than a speed of 30 miles per hour, let's do 60 minutes for 30 miles, because now I could put 30 into 60. Oh, look, two minutes in one mile. Interesting. So could the next day I do seven minutes for one mile? And how would that be a problem? Actually, it's going to go down. So maybe this is the bottom end, and the previous day you would do seven, something like this. Now, I want to know, is this possible? That one looks like I wrote one twice. Is it possible that this could happen? This is the last day and the previous day. Well, let's go back and think about why it could or could not work. Because we have to decide. We can't just go with it and assume. It's probably this. Her distance traveled was an integer, and she always traveled for one hour. In other words, I'm going to need this number seven to go into 60, like the number two does. That way I can multiply two by something to get 60 minutes. And that something was 30, the 30 miles that we hypothesized, maybe she could do this. That does not multiply by anything to give us 60. And since it doesn't, she would not go an integer number of miles because she traveled for 60 minutes. So it could not have been two and seven, could it? No. So what is it? No idea, but we have a much better plan. By fumbling around in the darkness, we can find this last number 
and work backwards by adding five minutes because it said her speed her speed decreased oh but maybe it would be actually it is the other way my bad it would go from two to seven so it would go the first way we had it two minutes for one mile is actually faster than seven minutes for one mile that is a decrease okay but so you're going to go this way but we noticed that two doesn't work does one six 11, 16 work? No, 11 doesn't go into 60. So that won't work. Understand that we're doing minutes per mile, minutes per mile. So then we say, okay, let's just do this. You're just gonna look at, there's not that many miles. You don't have to put a variable. You could, you wanna do a variable? X minutes, one mile. X plus five minutes. One mile. You can do this. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Do some algebra. You love variables? Have fun. I'm just going to guess and check. Why make myself force myself to do what my teacher in school would like if I did? I don't care. I just want the number. Just do it. You get to break the rules on the test. Take advantage of it. You don't have to obey any of your teachers from school and lose a half a point. That's not on the table right now. It's how fast can you go? And these are not that big. We're probably going to find it pretty quick. Let's just check. I'm going to clear screen. Three, eight. Eight does not go into 60. Four, nine. Nine does not go into 60. Five, 10, 15, 20. They all go into 60. Perfect. That's it. It's five minutes per mile, 10 minutes per mile, 15 minutes per mile, 20 minutes per mile. That must be it. So five times what? It would be uh, five times 12 is going to give you 12 miles. 60 minutes. 12 miles. So now what? We've got 12 plus. 10 times what gives us 60? Don't forget, these are minutes. We're putting them into 60 minutes. I'll write it again just so you can make sure you're following. 10 minutes, one mile. You need it to equal 60 minutes and some unknown number of miles. What do I multiply 10 by to get 60? Six. Therefore, this number is six. So it's 12, six. Okay, great. What about 15 times four? Four. What about 20 times three? Add seven, six, 13, 25. Done. See. At the end, you smell blood in the water. You're a shark. Finish them off. That's it. You've got to go until you get this is the big break in the problem. The previous break was just when we kind of had an idea of how we might approach the solve process. We just said, I don't know. What if I notice what we started with? We started with 30 miles per hour. Why did we start there? Because it's common, right? Times time equals distance. 30, oh, you're going 40 miles, blah, 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 blah. You've done so many of those problems. This is comfortable. Go do it. You don't know if it's going to work. You have no idea. Again, I don't know. I don't care. I'll let the weak kids skip the problem. Go ahead. They're not going to qualify for Amy eventually. You can't qualify for Amy on the AMC 8, but we are training ourselves for the AMC 10, okay? So don't be someone who gives up because you're uncomfortable. I don't know is not good enough. You've got to overcome that weakness, okay? Good, I'm going to clear screen. 